With Domino's week-long carry-out deal, you can carry out large three-topping pizzas and now medium three-topping handmade pan pizzas for $7.99 each. It's fantastic news. Cut, cut. Puns? You mean pans? Calling all pan addicts for two layers of cheese on crispy golden crust. So grab your panty packs, because Domino's large three-topping pizzas and medium three-topping handmade pan pizzas are $7.99 each. It's pandemonium. Fantastico. Carry out only. You must ask for this limited time offer. Prices, participation, and charges may vary. Blog Talk Radio. Radio show. My name is Dakota Franson, and I apologize about not being able to come in last week. I was so tired, but I will make it up to you today. Today, yes, we're gonna have a good show. We have a very good show. Since next week is Valentine's Day, and fucking so gotta get her gift ready. Just spoil that, did I? Oh, well, you think it's up? Valentine's Day. Oh, the love. The love. The, the, the heart. The kiss is the sexy time. Oh, the day of romance. What is Valentine's Day? I was curious about this. What are its origins? You have all these people that comment. All this negativity about it being an overpriced, overcommercialized exploitation of romantic insecurities as February 15th is discount chocolate day usually one of my favorite days because I love myself some Reese's <laughs> but what is it what did this come from talk a little bit about that tonight on this episode personally I kind of like Valentine's Day If you look at it from one way, it's a nice little reminder to simply reach out to those who you love and say, hey, I love you. I care about you. A reminder to spend just a little bit of time with them because we might not always be here. Something might happen to us. We might move on to the next phase in the reincarnation evolution, which might be next week's episode, but I need to get some notes together before I go on that tangent. But what is it? Where did the idea for this come from? Short answer? The idea for Valentine's Day is literally so old... Nobody has an idea of where it comes from, how it got started. We have a few rough ideas, a lot like the Christmas episodes I mentioned, and Halloween to add that. Because, like I said, it's just so old. And as time goes on, much like in the game of telephone, things change. You can't exactly be too sure of how it will change, but nevertheless. The 
the earliest during my research, I was actually able to find that the earliest origins of Valentine's Day actually come around a pagan festival from ancient Roman cultures. It's called Lupercalia. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly, which was a festival dedicated to the Roman god Faunus, which was a god of agriculture, as well as to the Roman founders Romulus and Remus. It's an interesting story how that, how Romulus and Remus came to be. I learned during my time in Rome that uh, they were the two brothers and they were raised by a wolf. I actually have a little souvenir statue here in my room slash office. But there's some... there's some sources blah, 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 they claim this was a festival of that was a week long where people would essentially dress up in like wolf skin and animal skin and engage in week long heavy sex. Now because of the Christian takeover, a lot of pagan cultures a lot of pagan traditions, I should say, became Christianized, quote unquote, and they were worked in with already existing Christian cultures to help the transition to Christianity as it gained its influence. Commonly associated with the Christian martyrs, which at least three shared the name of Valentine. And nobody exactly knows for sure how the story began. Or in fact, it might be a combination of all three. There was one where the idea of passing love notes for Valentine's was, as one of the saints was actually imprisoned, the daughter, believed to be of one of the jailers, would constantly come visit him and they would pass notes. Seems sweet and innocent, right? <clears throat> Let's see, I'm just double-checking my notes here. I do apologize. I should... All right, come on, you bastard. But a lot of the origins around Valentine's Day actually originate in Rome. So it shouldn't be too... shouldn't be too surprising. Uh, would you knock it off? Oh, my freaking system's not wanting to work with me right now. Nevertheless, what has been the point behind this holiday? It's always been about romance, sharing time with those you love. The stories of the saints, the martyrs, even the old pagan rituals, they've all been about the coming of spring when you really think about it. And of course... And I cringe whenever someone mentions this because my mother factors into this demographic. You also have to realize how many people are born in November because of Valentine's Day traditions. It's an interesting spectacle when you really think about it. I could go on a long tangent. There could probably be a whole novel I could write on this. Nevertheless, Valentine's Day has always been, even back then, about love, about passion, kindness, caring. In fact, they estimate that uh, it's nowadays it is the second it is when the second highest number of cards are sent out, roughly eighty five percent by women. But nevertheless, of course, with Christmas being the tiebreaker, it's rather 
but it's also rather strange when you think about it. How many of us actually limit ourselves to expressing love and kindness and simply showing that we care about one another on one such day? Because, in my honest opinion, if you wait for just one day to tell someone you love them, you're failing. Saying I love you should be something that should be done in whatever way, shape, or form you find that's suited for your situation. Every time you see that person, little things like take care, drive safe, call me when you get there, little things like that. I'm here for you. Now, of course, candies, chocolates, flowers. Guests have always been a symbol. A materialistic approach to such holidays. Of course, back then, all the gifts were naturally handmade, handpicked. There was a lot of thought that went into these gifts back in the day. And how the over-commercialization of it became about is companies realizing this and thought they would make it easier by putting out these products. Hallmark cards. Now, I'll admit, some of those cards, they're pretty good. But just loses the magic, the touch of actually making the cards yourself. In fact, I'm going to try to do kind of a mass production of digital cards because I'm not able to physically send out actual cards to everyone I want to. That's going to be my little project this year. There just seems to be a lot of people in my life who could really use the boost. And don't limit yourself to just one thing. Get creative. Play to your strengths if you decide to go that route. Because honestly, the Valentine's debate where we have all these younger couples stressing out because they feel like they're supposed to, all it is is just a reminder just to do something nice. Personally, if I'm ever in situations where I'm in a relationship where Valentine's Day is frowned upon, oh, we decide what days are special, I just like to do it anyway. Yes, I would, dates like anniversaries, things like that, are important. Sometimes a little tradition can go a long way. It shows that I feel at least. It shows that when the situation arises, that's the person you think of. That's the person who your heart starts to race for, that your mind can't just seem to shake person yet you can't help staring at a picture of them. Constantly recalling every memory you've shared with them. Conscious mind or in the subconscious dreams. Being able to find that connection is really special. Valentine's Day is nothing more than a way to simply remember that notion. Like I said before, it's always been about showing that you care. And maybe that, just maybe, 
maybe when it was started out, it was simply because spring was coming. People were cold because, you know, it is the winter. Spring was coming. It's the celebration of new life coming into the world. What it is that brings that life into this world. No matter what you look at it, the way you look at it, love is what starts it off. Love is what makes you want to make sure that the things you create, relationships you cultivate, the writings you put out, the arts you master, love is what makes you keep pushing. And it's a literal drug. Knowing that it actually registers as three major drugs, as a matter of fact, in the human mind makes it kind of weird to give a whole day about it. But then again, the same logic behind the 420 idiots. I'm sorry. I just... Got to think of something. It kind of makes you wonder, though. What was it that started it all? Like I mentioned before, one of the stories was that one of the martyrs was imprisoned, I believe, for helping the Christians escape the Roman Empire. And one of the daughters of one of the jailers would constantly come visit him. And it was those visitations in which he started to fall in love with her. And they would constantly write notes. And at the end of each note, he would sign it, For I'm your Valentine. It makes you wonder, really, if you ever did, if any of us would commit a grand gesture like that, how we would be remembered. Would holidays be created in honor of our actions? In one way, I think that'd be kind of cool. You essentially become immortal. But to be able to influence people like that, to be able to be such an influential force in that person's life, whether it's just one person you occasionally message online because you can't see them as much as you like, Someone that you keep a cook every picture they send you close by just because it brings a smile to your face. It makes you wonder how we really influence ourselves in this world. How we influence our own emotions, the emotions of others. Or even if we're still capable of doing such things as all human interaction is becoming digitized. In fact, not before long, they're going to have robotic dates out there. It's kind of scary when you think about it. Soon our Valentines will be Machines. Some people may already think that way. I'll admit that at this moment, 
There's one person that's coming to mind right now. And as I'm speaking, I'm staring at the photos I have of them. Admittingly, from some of the happiest days of my life. My most memorable. And I'm pretty sure she knows who she is if she's listening to this. Anyway, I'm going to call the show for tonight. Tune in next week. I'm going to talk about a theory in which I put together that discusses the evolution of the human soul, how it's created, how it goes through time, how reincarnation factors in, how it may be possible that our soul does not enter this world again but rather enters alternate realities connected to our own. Be sure to tune in next week. Same day, same time. You know where to find me. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. The iPhone XR is here at T-Mobile, and there's a whole lot to love, like taking those perfect new year, new you portrait mode selfies you're going to share. Nice. It's the best way to stay connected to everyone you'll heart most in 2019. So get ready to fall in love with iPhone XR on T-Mobile, the most loved in wireless. Call 1-800-T-MOBILE to learn more or visit a store today. The iPhone XR is here at T-Mobile, and there's a whole lot to love, like taking those perfect new year, new you portrait mode selfies you're going to share. It's the best way to stay connected to everyone you'll heart most in 2019. So get ready to fall in love with iPhone XR on T-Mobile, the most loved in wireless. Call 1-800-T-MOBILE to learn more or visit a store today.